All right. Next story here, Blake. And this is one that I think the chat is going to get a little lively for. And that's let's talk about these new jerseys and new hats that the Dodgers have unveiled. Let's start with the hats. They, they get a hat spring training every year. This is the spring training hat for 2024. I was pointing out I am currently donning the 2023 version. Uh, I tweeted, Blake, I don't like the D logo here. I know they use it. I get it. I'm very grateful that last year when I wanted to buy a hat, they had the LA on the front. If you have the greatest logo in all of sports, I don't know why you would ever mess with it and change it. Alas, they have. Do you have strong opinions about the 2024 spring training hat? I really have like no strong opinion at all. I, I couldn't really care less about the hat they wear in spring training. If it's cool, I'd go buy it. If it's not cool, like I just don't care. And this is kind of my I just don't care. I don't think it's cool. I don't like it. It's just kind of boring and plain. It is what it is. Okay, our guy Matt in the chat saying he likes it. Would you buy a bucket hat with this logo on it, Blake? If it was just like a plain blue bucket hat, no. If they did something cool with it, like maybe put like cactus around it for the cactus league or something like, yeah, maybe I could be talked into that. Yeah, we do. We did get a cactus on last year's uh, logo. This year, it's just a, a random home home plate with a 24 on it. It looks between the 24. There might be a cactus in blue. Let's see. This possibly. next picture is the jersey. We might have a nope. You don't get a view of that. So. The hats, the hats to be clear, not uh, not not stirring up controversy. Again, I just the logo. I, Sasha says it's a decent third logo. Yeah, but if you're the Dodgers, you don't need a second logo. You don't need a third logo. Just throw the freaking LA on the front of everything because it's the greatest logo in sports. Uh, I don't even. I mean, like, I, the, I don't like hats that don't have the LA on it. I guess is the short version for me. I don't think I own any Dodger hats that don't have the LA on it. Just. It's classic. Why don't mess with a classic, Blake? It's a simple approach here. Uh, if we're gonna talk about don't mess with the classics, then I'm sure people are gonna be mad with the next point. But yeah, I mean, I just don't really care about the hat. It is okay. what it is for me. There. Let's talk jerseys. <laughs> if if you haven't heard of this story, congratulations. You're probably not on social media because everybody has feelings about the Dodgers' new jerseys, Major League Baseball's new jerseys. Uh, if you are new to this, there is a Nike swoosh on this. For some reason, Nike has decided that Fanatics is going to produce all of Major League Baseball jerseys, and the uh, the reports have not been awesome. Now, Jason Hayward, Dodger, spoke positively about them. As far as I can tell, Blake, he's the only person alive who has spoken positively about him. Can you do you know of anybody else who has given these the thumbs up? Uh, apparently Fanatics CEO and whoever else is designing their jerseys, but player wise, fan wise, media wise. No, there's no one. So miles Nicholas said, uh, they don't fit right. The pants are no longer customized. The fabric is different. Um, another player was quoted as saying, quote, they look cheap. Uh, there's reports that like the curvature of the lettering and the names is going to be different. Uh, the, 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 text the the letters are much smaller the jerseys are much smaller um you pointed out to me blake that the white it used to be last year that different teams had different color whites they are now all the exact same so the dodgers had a unique color white last year in major league baseball they they no longer do and then the first thing that kind of tipped people off just from looking at them and and if you look at the jersey that is behind blake and the jersey that yamamoto is wearing in this picture you can kind of see the difference. It's where the jersey cuts across the Dodgers logo that is probably the most noticeable. On Yamamoto, you'll see the jersey cuts in the middle of the letter D versus the old jersey would have been right in between the O and the D, so kind of a little more seamless of a transition there. But th this feels like, I mean, it, it again, rarely can you get the entire internet to agree on something, Blake. How bad these jerseys are, there seems to be, Jason Hayward aside, unanimous agreement. Yeah, so I'm wondering how much Jason Hayward got paid or was forced to do that. Like, that was my main question when I saw who's making him do that. Because I, I don't think anyone really likes these jerseys. I know Matt's throwing out, like, Kenley tweeted that they're good, and Nolan Arenado said they're good. But, like, same thing with Hayward. That's my question. Has anybody my under the age too. of 38 tweeted out that they're good? Because you just named three guys that are, like, maybe the three oldest players in Major League Baseball. Arenado might be under 38. I think he's like 35 or something now, 34. So there you go there. But yeah, I mean, 
I feel like this is just going to end up with me complaining about how terrible Fanatics is for 10 minutes or something. Like, I don't get why Nike and MLB would allow this because Nike's just licensing their logo out to Fanatics now so Fanatics can produce all the jerseys. And MLB is now the ones dealing with Fanatics. And next year, NHL switching to going to Fanatics jerseys with this route. And as I'm sure everyone knows in the chat, like Fanatics has taken over all sports merchandising. If you go to lids.com, you're going to Fanatics website. If you go to MLB.com, you're going to Fanatics. If you go to NFL, you're going to Fanatics. They're just, it's taken over everything. And that's not really a joke. And there's a whole account like on Twitter called Fanatics Sucks. And it's just people complaining about their bad experiences with Fanatics, with how bad their quality is, how bad their support is, how terrible they are at sending the right things out. Even the jersey behind me, they sent the wrong size and I have to go return it or do something with it. I haven't got around to it yet, but like that's just Fanatics at this point. They're really bad as a company and you're seeing it with the results of the jerseys now. Like, I think the concept of making every single jersey the same color white is just crazy. Like, aside from all the other things, the Dodgers had a unique jersey and every MLB team had their own unique jerseys with the colors that they chose. And Fanatic said, no, you can't do that anymore. Like, they're not even customizing pant size for players. Like, that seems like such a basic thing for a billion dollar company where that's like the main thing fans see every game. Like, you see players in their jerseys. Why not make them look the best they can? And I don't get why they couldn't have done all the upgrades that they claim to have done with using better quality and better materials and better labor. It's just a very weird decision. And I don't know if any teams are going to kind of fight back. Like the Dodgers jerseys don't look good anymore. And it's just a bold decision from MLB and Fanatics and Nike and I say bold, but I really mean bad, and that's what it is. I could keep yeah. rambling forever, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, and for the Walker Bueller pant people, I, at Alex Vesia tight pant crew, it sounds like the quote was, they are not as customized. So I still think we're going to get tight pants. They just might not be quite as tight as, as some folks want. So keep that in mind. I see people joking you should buy knockoffs. It sounds like you get a knockoff for full price. So that there's no, it's like, you know, uh, Whatever. But I mean, look, it, most of us, I guess if you buy the jersey is when you'll find it. Um, I'll, I'll be curious to see if this is a storyline throughout the year, as you said, if there is any pushback or if this is kind of something we're talking about because there aren't any real news baseball stories to, have, to talk about yet. I think it's come up more because the Dodgers were one of the first teams to show off their new uniforms this offseason with the press conferences and everything they're doing. Like no one else really signed anyone besides the Giants had their press conference. And I think there was probably one other team. But now all other fans are kind of seeing what happened to the jerseys and they're all questioning it. Like I know Mariners Twitter kind of broke out over it and Cardinals Twitter broke out over it. And the Dodgers Twitter kind of went through that maybe a month ago or something at this point yeah. now. So it's kind of funny seeing all the other fan bases join in and be like, wait, what happened? This is awful. So it's pretty unanimous that the jerseys are bad and MLB needs to do something, but we'll see if they actually do it. Yeah. I can't remember if it was Otani or Yamamoto's press conference where somebody was m noticing the, the, the cut in the letters of Dodgers. It felt like that was the original, but as you said, as different teams have reported, it has continued to come up. So there you go. Some crazy stuff happening off the field. Uh, let's